This is a chocolate rye sour beer made with pomegranate, kvike yeast, and lactobacillus. Weird beer! Weird beer! Goal really was to get weird with it. We don't have that much time left, Emmett. Who knows? I don't know how many years on this earth I got left. I'm gonna get real weird with it. So you came in and got real weird with this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give the like quick. Super fast rundown. My goal was to get rid of some grain. I had some chocolate rye, some crystal 20 and crystal 60, a bunch of two row. Went out and got four and a half pounds of white wheat. Yeah, man, I was going for like a chocolate Ovaltine vibe, you know. Very so. roasty. Yeah. Chocolatey. I can't get past the uh, chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. Well, I kind of want to try it. Yeah, still. Cheers. Chocolatey. It really is chocolatey. And super sour. Spicy. I kind of get the orange peel on the taste. Definitely. Threw that all together into the mash. I did an overnight mash. I literally was with this mash for like 20 minutes. I mashed in, adjusted the pH like 10 minutes in, and then 20 minutes in, I turned the heat off and left. Yeah, the oranges kind of moved to almost like a cherry. Even though I put like pomegranate in there, it does have a cherry taste to it. Not one dimensional. No, it's like three dimensional, two and a half dimensional. <laughs> it cooled down overnight. Came back in the next day. Didn't even do a boil. I feel like there's there's not enough depth for me. I mean, it's still it's a it's sour, right? And it's chocolatey. You have the pomegranate. You have the orange and some spiciness. Like it doesn't have the depth of a barrel sour beer. Obviously, it just like you just can't achieve that with kettle sour. I don't know if I'd call it cohesive. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's like a lot yeah. going on, but it's mm -hmm. not necessarily like in yep. a cohesive kind of way. 100%. Drop the pH further from 5.2 down to 4.5. I pitched Lacto and Good Belly, and I pitched uh, Sigmund's Voss um, Norwegian Yeast. Bump the temp up to 100 degrees. No boil, okay? 100 degrees because that's what this crazy insane Norwegian yeast ferments at. And that's the other thing, you know, like you don't get any of those like really Finale. phenolic nasties um, in this all. at all. And this thing literally fermented at 100 degrees. So you fermented in the kettle at in 100? Fermented, yeah. Gotcha. Right? Blew my mind. It was com almost completely done in 20 yeah, hours. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, I let it sit for another day to wrap up fermentation completely. And then I let it sit a third day just to make sure everything settled out. I think I added like a gallon or two of pomegranate and then let it, the pomegranate chill in there in secondary. Fermentation kicked off again. It was literally done like the next day. I chilled it, let it settle out, kegged it, and that's where we're at here. Here's the insane thing about this. If you don't count the time that I've used for the, um, the additional like secondary with the pomegranate, mm -hmm. I had completely finished sour beer in three days. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Check out the rest of our videos. Make some weird shit. Make and some weird beer. Make some weird beer and tell us uh, how you make your weird beer. We'd love to hear about it. Check out our website, climbersupply.com. See ya. Cheers, man. Cheers. That was actually pretty, pretty solid. <laughs>